back here to Longhorn Weekly. And uh, as we do each week, we take the opportunity to visit with another member of the Longhorns coaching staff, a varsity coach in this case. It's Coach Ryan Murphy of the Texas women's golf team. It's good to see you here, Murph. Thanks for dropping by. Thanks, Greg. Hey, let me let me get your thoughts on, because, because a couple of things are going to come to mind is you and John Fields built the Texas men's golf program into a national powerhouse. Now you take over the women's golf program. What are the similarities – that are there, and what are the distinct differences between what you did working with Coach Fields on the men's side and what you do with the women's side? Well, men and women are different. Uh, there's no question I've been about that. that. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I'm learning something new every day in this new job. Uh, the, the similarities are that it's about recruiting. you got to recruit great people, great players. That's, that's what we were doing on uh, the men's side, and that's why they're, they're so successful right now. And, and the true is same on the women's side, and it's true with any sport. You just got to you got to start with the right people and and uh, recruit people that are right for Texas. Re recruit great competitors, great students, uh, great people, and and that's what we're trying to do right now. Uh, I, I'm always fascinated to hear what coaches say, not only about their recruiting philosophy, and we'll get into some more of that in a minute, but the group they inherit and what the interaction is like early on when you're talking to the veterans who are coming back, what your expectations are, what their expectations are. How did that go in the early formation when you took over in the summer in your conversation with some of the, the Longhorn veteran golfers? Well, it was easy for me because I had a relationship uh, from, from a distance with most of these women on the team because we shared a facility, so I knew each and every one of them. So it was easy for me to come in there. I didn't know how hard they were going to work. That was uh, not a surprise for me, but it was, uh, it was something... You didn't know until you knew. I didn't know until I knew, so I guess it was a pleasant surprise. Um, they work hard, and I think they're hungry for success, and that was refreshing to learn for me. And there's, there's talent on this team, and uh, they're very hungry for success, and I was happy to learn that. Uh, in the early stages, and, and this team's going to get better and better through the year. The, the, some of the obvious stuff that, that the folks would point to and they say, okay, well, men are going to drive the ball farther. Uh, women, we always hear that sometimes maybe a little more fundamentally sound. I mean, it, it, no matter what the sport that you're talking about, that sort of stuff in terms of the physical versus the tactical as well. What have you found to be some of the facts and some of the myths about all of that sort of stuff? Well, the women definitely drive the golf ball straighter. There's no question about that. Um, as far as a day-to-day -day situation, the men like the competition. If it, all you had to do was create a competition out of anything for the men and they were engaged and they were all in. Uh, on the women's side, they're more drawn to doing drills, uh, to working on their mechanics. To, um, for self-improvement. For self-improvement. Um, and so I'm trying to implement a little more competition on a, on a weekly basis uh, for our preparation for tournament play. Did, did that take some adjustment on your part, being a guy and <laughs> having the natural competitive streak and instinct in you to see a very studious, uh, uh, I guess you might say methodical, mechanical approach to individual improvement as opposed to the visceral co competitive edge that's in all of us? Yes. <laughs> yes, to answer your question. So it took some adjustment on it, your part. For sure. There's a learning curve there. I, I, I'm a competitor. I, I, I want to create a competitive situation on a daily basis. But too much of that is, is not a good thing. So I, I have to find a good balance between working individually, working mechanically with a player, and then creating those situations uh, you know, two or three times a week for competition. There's a good balance there. Would you, would you say there was also a little bit of an adjustment on their part, understanding <laughs> that yes. part of it? That, that, I'd love to have been a fly on the wall for some of those conversations about what you're trying to extract from them on the competitive side and what they're trying to get across to you on how they have their routines, on how they individually improve and prepare for a match. Yes, uh, very much some of the things I said in, in the early meetings was maybe the first time they had heard some of these things, uh, how we were going to go about uh, weekly practice, how we were going to compete, what we were, how we were going to operate on the road. Um, some of their eyes were, were big, and it, it was definitely some new things that they were hearing. Um, 
but you know, like anything, changes. It, it takes a little bit of time, and did change, you have change any, is good. Did you have any of them that were like, "Hey, I'm on board with this"? Did it just leap right at the opportunity? A few of them, yes. Bertine <laughs> Strauss is definitely one of those. <laughs> that makes a sense since it's a senior. Yeah, we talk about that. We're going to talk uh, some more about this Texas women's golf team with head coach Ryan Murphy when Longhorn Weekly continues in a moment. We welcome you back to Longhorn Weekly. This is Longhorn Weekly with head coach Charlie Strong that comes your way from Pluckers, the West Campus location here in Austin. Coach Strong will be back with us in a moment, visiting for the moment with Ryan Murphy, Texas women's golf coach. Uh, let's talk about this roster. you got one senior, and she's probably as competitive a, a senior as has come down the pike in Bertine Strauss. Tell folks a little bit about what she's done, other than the fact that she finished seventh for a second consecutive top ten tournament mark most recently when the team finished tenth uh, there in their most recent event. Uh, two top tens, like you said, in the, in the first two events of the year for Bertine, which is outstanding. At this last tournament, she finished with 66 in the final round, and she shot the low 54-hole total in our program's history at 207. So she, she has set the mark. Um, Bertine is a leader. She's a great student. She's a great person. And... She can fly a golf ball about 270 yards, so that definitely helps. And when you have, and I've talked about this on this program before, uh, Longhorns baseball coach Augie Garrido said he asked Bill Walsh one time that some of the secret to the success, he said, my best players are my hardest workers. And Bertine certainly is perhaps your best golfer, and she's your lone senior, so that leadership and the performance really kind of, I guess, carries over to what you have with everybody else. For sure. She, she right now is leading our pack. She's leading the group in her play, in how she operates on a daily basis. She's a very hard worker, and she has aspirations of playing professionally someday. And you'll see her on television in the not-too-distant fu future, for sure, in my opinion. you got a couple of juniors in Tezra Abe and N Natalie Karcher as well. Tell folks a little bit about the, the strengths of their games and what you look for and what you see out of them on a regular basis. Uh, Tez Abe is extremely, extremely athletic. She's a tremendous ball striker. Right now, uh, her game's a little up and down because her short game needs to be shored up a little bit. Um, Natalie Karcher is a very tough competitor and she is very mechanically sound and um, she tries very hard. Sometimes she tries a little too hard and that's right now that's what we're working on. She, she's a perfectionist. She um, needs to let the mistakes go a little bit faster than she does. Sometimes there's a carryover or that? There, right. And, but she's a, she's a terrific player. She's an All-American candidate. Um, and she's she's off to not her best start this season, but she will get better and better as the season goes on. And then you have not one, two, three, or four, but five sophomores uh, on this team. And Julia Beck, Ann Hockula, Delaney Peterson, uh, Sarah Scarlett, and Laura Weinstein as well. Five sophomores. And that spells great stuff for the future, obviously. It does. Julia Beck is a great player. She has spent a lot of time around Ben Crenshaw, so she knows how to putt her golf ball. And that was evident at the last tournament, the final round. She, she had it five under par through eight holes and was making every putt she was looking at. And uh, that's the strength of her game for sure. And um, Ann Hockula? Ann Hockula. That's Tony Hockula's little sister from Finland. And um, she hasn't played for us yet this year. She's going to play this weekend in the Betsy Rawls. And she's very straight off the tee, uh, knows her game very well and um, is a steady little player. Delaney Peterson? Uh, Delaney and, and Sarah are up and coming. They're going to both play in the Betsy Rawls. They're both hard workers for sure. Sk Sarah Scarlett is a very athletic player. She started the game late, but she's, she's made very big strides in a short period of time. And uh, Laura Weinstein had a career low 68 to finish up uh, the schooner event last week. Right. She's our other South African. We were led by two South Africans on Monday with uh, Bertine 66 and Laura 68. Uh, fine player. Laura Weinstein was top 100 in the world uh, amateur rankings before arriving here at Texas. So she has a, a very strong junior record coming out of South Africa and we expect big things from her. This is a question that I uh, quite often ask coaches who have 
international players, several international players, or at least international players on the roster. And, and it most, I guess most often applies in golf, tennis, track and field, maybe swimming, <coughs> uh, those sorts of things. But it's the attitude and approach of your international student athlete because they have to adjust not only to the athletic side of it of playing in the United States, but to life and college life as well. And that's not always the easiest thing in the world for them to do to try to adjust to all of that. It's not easy at all. It's very difficult. Laura Weinstein arrived last year in the spring, had never uh, been to college in the United States. And they said, okay, there's your first class. And by the way, we got a tournament in seven days and you're playing and, and here we go. And it, it, you have to get through that learning curve and to be able to balance golf, school, uh, social life, it, it takes a little bit of time. Uh, this week, big event, obviously, the annual Betsy Rawls Invitational at the UT Golf Club that starts this Sunday, going through Tuesday as well. Obviously, you feel good when you're hosting an event on your course, but tell folks a little bit about this event and what you're expecting to see. We have a good field coming in. Uh, the regulars from the state of Texas will be here, and then we have some others from outside the state. We have UNLV, uh, Minnesota's coming, Iowa State, um, Miami's coming, UNCW. So it's a, it's a diverse field that we have, and it's a very strong field. But we feel very good about the tournament coming off of Monday's play, um, seven under par on Monday. That's, that's a good note to finish that tournament on and to build on for our home tournament. And our golf course, UT Golf Club, is in perfect shape right now with this rain that we've had recently. It's, uh, it's in terrific shape. Our superintendent, Rich Cope, has done a terrific job. So we're going to be ready, and, and we're excited about it. Terrific. Ryan, thanks for the time. Appreciate you coming. Thanks, Greg. All right, Ryan Murphy, Texas women's golf coach. Coach Strong will rejoin us when we continue with Longhorn Weekly live from Pluckers, the West Campus location on the Longhorn Network and the Longhorn IMG Radio Network.